Hi everybody, I'm Renee from Wanna Scrap, and today I'm going to share with you how I put together these adorable gingerbread uh, cookie sheet embellishments. So I have a die sets, recollections of the, of the um, rectangles, and I took the third size from the smallest, so, but you can make these any size you want. I did make a couple of small ones also. So you just want to line it up wherever you're comfortable on the um, on your scoreboard and I'm just going in at just under uh, one eighth of an inch so I'm just kind of moving the paper over just so I'm not quite an eighth of an inch but I'm sure you could go an eighth of an inch I didn't do it I just made it that little bit off so <laughs> So I'm just going ahead and doing all four corners. And these come together so fast, you guys. It's And they're so adorable. I can't wait to use them in a project. Now to fold up these sides, because even at one eighth of an inch, it's still going to be pretty tiny to fold over. So I grabbed my ruler and I just lined it up where the score mark was. And I just pressed along and... Uh, got them all folded over just like that. And excuse my fingers there, I've been crafting so much lately that um, yeah, sometimes the ink just doesn't come off fast enough. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and making sure all four sides are done. These just came out so cute, I just love them. And at this point, I do show it at the end as an afterthought. I did take a uh, silver marker or gray marker or whatever you like, or you can even paint the back if your uh, <clears throat> silver metallic paper is only one-sided like mine was. But, um, but I did go around the edges just to uh, make it blend in more so you didn't see the white cardboard underneath. So right now I'm just using these gingerbreads. I have sticker gingerbreads. I have little wooden gingerbreads. I have um, these other, like, they're almost like a clay gingerbread. So I used all of my little gingerbread men <laughs> and just had fun making these uh, four adorable little cookie sheets. So we're almost done here. <clears throat> and I am re-gluing them um, just to make sure that they're really stuck on there because it is a metallic paper and there is a sheen to it so your sticker may not stick as well so I'm just reinforcing the glue on here and then I grabbed one of these stickers or if you have a banner die or um, you know want to create your own it's all good I just want to use up what I have so uh, I'm just going ahead and I'm going to put some snow text on it just to make it give it that little extra added interest. And I'm just getting the snow all pushed on there. <clears throat> it was starting to, pardon me, it was starting to dry out a little bit, so I had to end up moistening it after this project. <laughs> Pardon my voice here. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and getting the snow on. And then you do want this to dry. Um, so I gave it the time to dry before I put it on my um, embellishment. And this is another step you may want to do in the beginning too. If you are using a sticky sticker um, banner like this, I wanted to remove the ends of the banner because I just really want it to be stuck on, down the middle where I'm going to be placing the banner, if that makes any sense. <laughs> because the edges of the pan come up so I, I don't need the stickiness or the pop dot there. So we're just going ahead and doing that. And then you just want to pull the backing off and get it all stuck on there. And this is so easy to do, you guys. This is all in real time, and it's this is how fast they come together. Well, most of the video. 
and then I just wanted to top it off with a little candy I felt like it just needed that little bit more and uh, there they are and these are all my finished um, gingerbread cookie sheets so I hope you enjoyed this video guys and uh, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video bye for now